Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast One Piece reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is One Piece episodes 176 and 177. What happened last time? Last time we're gearing up for a really big fight here with uh, Zoro, Ohm, Wiper, Gonfall, the snake slash Luffy who's inside the snake, Chopper, and, dead in the distance. And Pierre. And Pierre. In the fight. I hope he's not too much in the fight. I hope so too. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon to get two weeks ahead of Uncut Reactions, one week ahead of Edited Reactions. Check out the main channel if you want to see me shave my head. You can subscribe there, and when we hit 100,000 subscribers, I'll be shaving my head, probably on a live stream. Check that out. Hope you enjoy most of all this reaction. Let's go. <laughs> I wish I was the voice actor for Pierre. <laughs> You're just gonna bust out of it right now. I feel like there is, a, like, even if you want to fight everyone else, there's, like, a, a priority yeah. list, you know? <laughs> Whoa. Animation's kicking up here. Mm -hmm. It's like his classic move. Mm hmm Nice. The snake? Okay, now quickly just cut open this snake for me. I like how the how Wiper has the dials to jump around, but Zoro's jumping just <laughs> as fast with his legs. Did we oh, know? Yeah, yeah, we, we knew about that, right? That I had asked. Right. Just in his fangs. That's right, I like how he remembers it too. Oh holy. Cute. What? <laughs> Tries to punch him? He doesn't bite. <laughs> what? It's very effective. Really favors a, a dog's uh, physicality, yeah. You have bigger things to worry about, Ohm. Shura, yeah. <laughs> Jumping. Can she ride that up there? Probably. Giant Jack. Well, at the top of Jack, Jack the Beanstalk was the land of the mm -hmm. giants where, uh... You got, like, Golden Goose? Golden Goose. No, which I think is just treasure. What? Isn't that, I think it's a different story. Goose laid the golden egg. You get that, and then he gets, like, a harp, and then he goes back to get more. Maybe I don't know the story, the original story well enough. I thought the Golden Goose is from a different story. I wonder if that's where the giant winged thing, like if they're gonna be at the top of the beanstalk. Mm. Or what if, plot twist, what if Elbaf is up there? Because mm. we but don't know where Elbaf are is. way bigger than the Elbaf war. Yeah, I know, that's why, like, I, I'm just thinking, like, yeah. giants, like, that's the only other giants that we know. That makes sense, because there's now Chopper. named it Jack the Beanstalk. Oh. Oh! oh! That looked painful as shit. 
why do you have that installed? When did you do that? Who are you? Oh. Who is that? Is that? Oh, it's just him. Yeah, sorry. Iron clouds? Mm. Um, Interesting. He'll be all right. He's seen worse than some fucking barbed wire. <laughs> I don't like fighting for that some for that sort of reason. But I'll do it right now, <laughs> you piece of shit. Meanwhile, in the stomach of the snake, doing nothing. Oh. That's not scaring off anyone. In fact, that would be attracting people to you. I think they need to learn some something about some restraint. So They wake up just to say, turn that fucking music off. <laughs> I wonder why they were taken out. Like, like I wonder if Oda was like, there's too many fucking characters, honestly. I think so. What? Just heading over there. Oh. I thought, like, something imminent was happening. It's just the fight's kind of winding down. Good riddance. Oh, right. He had the reject dial, not gone fall. Mm -hmm. Is Wiper gonna use the fucking reject dial on Zoro? That'd be so dumb. You just don't believe in yourself enough. Is this Tower of God? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make those kind of comparisons. One Piece is... It was below One Piece. Oh, shit! Yeah, Wiper... Why would he? Is He's kind of right, like, it's the same shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's the same, I'm just saying, like, the pri the priority, you know what I mean? I'm like, no, yeah, the, like, in, in terms of the grand, in terms of the whole fight, yeah, but, like, it, gone, I'm saying to gone fall, he's like, oh, yeah. so you won't listen, will you? It's like, why would he? Yeah. Were, he asked for his land back with his, for his people, and he said no. Yeah. That's just, that's why I'm surprised he attacks Zoro first. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Zoro, kill this fucking dog. No, it's holy. <laughs> oh, shit. Is it extending blade? Apparently. Now you know Zoro's about to pop off. Yeah. <laughs> Took a crazy injury to the chest. That's that's just the start of this fight. He's about to fucking channel his, uh, whatever he did in the fight with... He's about to see the fabric of reality passing through him. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's like a whip. Yeah. Is that he's the same thing? <laughs> they already fought a circus like multiple times. Good idea. Then we can have a real sword fight. Oh boy, they're really getting there. I love the sound of the mm -hmm. the waver boots. Uh-oh. 
He just slices them all in half. It's a battle. All right, monkey man. Yeah, keep trying other things. That sound is terrible. Yeah, I hope it eats all of these. Oh, it's tickling him. Wait, do you see the light coming in right now? Oh my god. Yeah, how can he see in there? <laughs> Everyone can team up to protect the women. Yes, exactly. And children. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I saw. Make your choice. What, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, no wonder she never liked him. He almost Holy just fuck. fucking killed her on site. Get away from that woman, or I'll <laughs> get you away from her. And I'll her. give you no chance. Oh, great. Amazing. <laughs> See what you did, Wiper? What? I. <laughs> You don't get- I said no! How did it come to this? What a tragedy. <laughs> I thought no one else was just like, Wiper, why why did you what almost the fuck kill is like, the, the matter one with you? child in our village? The waiver better not get broken in here. Oh no. They're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead. Luffy's gonna be like, hey, how do you guys get in this cave? And they're gonna be like, Luffy, you fucking idiot. How long this have you been in here? <laughs> this isn't a cave. What is the matter with you? Are you stupid? <laughs> yeah, did he not? Am I? I'm probably forgetting. Did he know he got eaten? No, I thought he I knew. I think he just got like swallowed up and then was like, huh, how did I get in this cave? Yeah, <laughs> fucking moron. Jesus. Oh my god, fucking. Okay, I. Wiper. I know we have said, <laughs> we've said it a thousand times. I think Wiper is completely valid for wanting to attack both Zoro and Gonfall. He has However, his reasons, if, he, even he if they're He has his yeah. reasons. However, he lacks the, the strategic mindset that you, I feel like you need if you're going to be a warrior to. Oh. Which is his flaw, to it's be like, fair. It is, but it's just like, okay. There's four people here. It could be a three against one, and then I could pick off the other two, or I could just <laughs> instantly <laughs> shoot at the one guy who has not, who I have no beef with. Exactly. I'm like even Gonfall. Like if you like if you want to take, take that first shot, take the first shot at fucking Gonfall. You have personal yeah, beef with him. It's just kind of weird that he chooses the enemy, Zoro. You know what I mean? I'm just. It's, it's just, not. I that guess because just deal, Zoro was closer. Just, yeah. It's just funny. Because it's like, I completely understand the mindset, but like, I, and it, it is part of his character that he just has like zero logic. I mean, he yes. literally almost shot the child that he was trying to protect because he was like- It's all- he, it, For him, it it's literally him, on yeah. site. It's like, he it sees is on you, site. you're fucking done for. Even he, if you're a child, he's like, get away. Gives her <laughs> zero time, shoots her. Stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, it, like, it, that's it's what I was saying last time, last discussion, where it was like, his whole thing of being this, like, you know, this guy who, from a cursed people who was, like, you know, forgotten by the grace of God, who was, like, trying to fight for their land, they've been just, they've been mm -hmm. fucked on the whole time, they have no, you know, it, it just, he is, he is a revenge-based, like, mad dog fighting for this, you know, lashing out basically. Mm -hmm. And it's just whatever's in his way, he'll just destroy. And it's this destructive mindset and I get it. I, it's again, I think I think it's just one of those things where we, I needed like a Koza backstory. Like, cause when Koza was thinking that way, even towards uh, the king or whatever, it was like, you know, mm -hmm. you if, if he did, it never got to the point where he had to like, where he was gonna like try and kill the king really. But like, if it did get there because we saw that, you know, the whole backstory, I felt very connected to his actions. Whereas with Wiper, he just showed up and has the whole time just, you know, and, and we, again, it's like, it's not that we don't know everything. It's just that I, I feel like we could, if there was a little bit more, we could have felt it and been on a little bit on more on his side rather than just like, I think it it's seems, just the it point that it's it's and maybe it's he's not so angry ridiculous enough. that he would go for Zoro first. 
that it's like you can't really get on board with it because it's like if he was attacking and then Zoro like came in the vicinity and he like attack like or if he jumped in the air or like try to zip behind Zora and try to get him in like a beam yeah like lined them up um because it just I and I, I maybe maybe it's I, I maybe it's that he's not like angry enough like maybe if, if he went into crazy mode and you couldn't see his eyes or if he was like physically mm. and emoting like that he's just this rage fit like you see is angry and he's a fighter he's angry and he's the his eyes are a little bit like mm -hmm. messed up but it seems like he's just kind of fucking up when he when he does something rather than like I'm throwing caution to the wind and not yeah I don't know like it, I'm going too far with it anyway it it makes sense with his character like there's nothing to complain about like it's everything that he's doing yeah. makes sense with his character that he's just lashing out and he does embody that mm -hmm. it's just I feel like there's ten percent more in some area where I feel like I could feel it more with him and I I wouldn't be it wouldn't be funny that he's like you know, almost yeah. killing Isa and then being like, Isa, why? What happened? <laughs> oh no, you got eaten oh, by a snake. What have I, what have I was you done? <laughs> like, he's not like, what have I done? He's, <laughs> he's like, like, Isa, no. Like, in I no was, particular I was direction. I you a quick death, Isa. Now look, you're gonna get eaten by that snake. It's like, at one moment, he's just like, Isa, get away from, like, what are you playing at? Like, that's, that's the thing. It's like, what are you playing at, blue sea woman? It's just, Isa, get away from her. <laughs> like, not... Even if you like, honestly, you know what might have been good there is like, Isa, have you have you gone to their side? Yeah, like, that would that the, would be the like the a decision. Paranoia, like if, yes. you, if it was like, I think that that how would actually dare be cool you? If it was like, oh, so you're with them now, like and just and showing in a how, way yeah. that it, it shows just how unhinged he is, and he's not even thinking like logically yeah. in any sense not just that he's not thinking logically about this fight but just that he's not thinking logically it's that his like revenge and anger is overriding his his values yeah. as a tribes person you know like mm -hmm. like the his family basically that you know that like it, then it's kind of a decision and more less than just like a weird yeah not even a mistake just like a lapse in judgment almost mm -hmm. um Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because his character is coming through. It's again, it's just like, it's just like a ten percent. It's like, like it needs a little bit of polish, you know. Yeah. Or, yeah. or a little bit, a little bit of something. But over, but the episodes it, funny... overall, like the episodes, if you notice, like all the episodes have been good yeah. this session. Conus and her dad are so funny. Oh, we need she... to inspire. Them. <laughs> no, they. I thought they said what did this they will say? like scare away the enemies <laughs> from. <laughs> <the> <laughs> <boat>. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> Great idea, father. After Nami already was like, can you stop playing that? Like, yeah. what are you doing? Like, you guys need to keep it on the down they low. they were, like, whispering in well, the They're forest. lucky there's no fucking sharks around here. I guess they're just in the... Or they, they have been outside of that pool, haven't they? Haven't they? Like, outside of the, the altar? The sacrificial art? Yeah, the, the sky sharks, sharks have been in, like, the... But I don't, I I don't guess know they're if just they've lucky been in, like, the, the, like, ocean or if they've just been in the rivers. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. The, the, these episodes have been, have been getting yeah. really good. Like, you know, like every episode, there's been a lot happening. They're not dwelling on shit mm -hmm. too much. I it's feel like so far this fight, like, a, not even aside from, because again, it's like part of his character, the wiper is just lashing out at whoever. This fight so far is going really well. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of upset that the fucking snake is just stopping it here, but Zoro's going to be against this dude. So. Yeah. I really also like, I liked that reveal, like that classic anime reveal of like where we see own sword and you're like what is that crazy ability and then like once it gets revealed then we like see what's actually happening instead of like this crazy blue like lightning looking thing that it's right. like the clouds like you're like oh is he it's also just like using quick... lightning but yeah. it's just like it was going so fast but it's just the clouds i thought that his because his name was ohm he would have some kind of electricity based mm. ability with his sword or that he would like with the bulb on the end it was like a lightning rod mm. that he would like collect like the lightning in the, in the he, yeah. yeah it would collect the lightning in the in the thing and then he would do that mm -hmm. because his, his name yeah is like a, a what is it, a measurement of the force of electro i don't even know what an ohm is uh like yeah. I, I know what it ref like you, you know what i'm saying yeah uh it's like a, a measurement of energy but yeah i don't know mm -hmm. anyway good shit now everybody's kind of collecting here. The battle is kind of ramping up mm -hmm. with all these extra people. And uh, we'll see what happens next time. Leave a like and subscribe. Let's move right along. <laughs> they all got swallowed. Mm -hmm.
Time for what? <laughs> for, for that, apparently. Oh! Oh my god. Yikes. That looked really brutal. Yeah, how does Holy know where all this stuff is? Oh. He's like, activating all of them. It's gonna cage them all in for a big battle. Mm-hmm. Because it was time for that. <laughs> mm. That's why there's a 0% survival rate you can't get out. The barbed wire death match. And? <laughs> yeah, you're surrounded too. Just in case you forgot. <laughs> I love how it's the guy who saved Chopper <laughs> as if because he, he doesn't associate with him with anything else. What if somebody had a Logia type devil fruit that that turned them into water? How would that work? Mm, would they no. get incapacitated every time they use their ability? Is she just gonna get sniped? Oh god. Give up! Say it, woman! That's not the message! Just say the word devil for- Oh god. A badass Just shooting him like that. He just resisted a oh, he just soaked it up. <laughs> oh, 
後で天使挑んでくる子羊を私は食べて死なぬことじゃ。It just takes off again. She looks dead, but you can never tell on this show. Yeah. So he does exist. Dun, 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 dun. Well, rip. Oh no, now he's gonna be irrational and unfocused. Uh oh. He'll go from the very competent fighter who only focuses his attack at his bitter enemy to lashing out at everybody like he never did before. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> shake. Shake a paw, holy. Mm. Oh, this cave's weird. Every time yeah. we see him, he's gonna have like more shit. <laughs> Oh. He's gonna be like in a full suit of armor and like with just. <laughs> oh, what a good guy, Pierre. Where on earth? Why Why is that your saying? You guys don't live on earth. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your fault. It's weird, Kate. It was a Luffy. I need him to come in so I, Nami can just be like, what is your problem? <laughs> it's a really deadly weapon. <laughs> She's pacified very easily. <laughs> Can you do it with that breath dial thing that like slices through those giant trees? Yeah. Oh my god. It's gonna be all messed up from getting tossed around in here. <laughs> They're like, what is that? <laughs> so mysterious. Um, he's gonna be like, is this where you've been the whole time? Yeah. Here for 30 years. What is he holding? I think it's just a stick. <laughs> I've been trying to break out of here. <laughs> Pierre. So were you. <laughs> oh. You ever be luckier? Hat is still okay. <laughs> okay, what's your idea then? <laughs> I wonder. You've been bashing around yeah. in here the whole time. So it's all your fault. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Well, Snake is just having the worst day of its life. I feel kind of bad for it. It looks like it's in a lot of pain. I don't, yeah, it's, I don't think it wants to be here. You're gonna shoot inside its mouth right now? Is that what you're about to do, Wiper? Mm. A 
It's so goddamn big. Yeah, shoot at its eye. Singe its tongue? Ow! Oh, oh no, it's pissed. God. Oh no. Is he gonna get swallowed? They're gonna have to team up to get out? Dun 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 dun! The finale of One Piece? Already. Right now? Oh my god. Oh, next, next one, next one's the finale. What do you think of that? <laughs> Freaking Luffy classic. Totally knew that was gonna happen. I was just gonna be like, huh, how do you guys get in this place? And it's even worse because they're like, yeah, we got eaten by the snake. He's like, man, that must have been terrible for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must have been really rough. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Why is the snake in such a bad mood, I wonder? Gee, who could have who could have known? That was funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, I they're like all scared with him walking up to you. Yeah. I like the the backstory of Wiper. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. them being kids and like him just getting like more and more like. I well, I, that's the I, I like the backstory. I like what they were going for. I but like I hate to be a little negative about it. It's just it, like it didn't really change or add anything about his kid. Like it, it, him at, showing him as a kid saying the same shit that he would say as an adult with no like. Like he didn't lose a family member or, you know, like Koza was having to deal, like he went back and forth with his allegiances and mm -hmm. was just really conflicted, but was really pent up and angry because his like village was like in a drought or whatever. And he had all these problems and he blamed mm -hmm. the king and, and this and that. But like with him, with, uh, with, uh, with Wiper, I, I was, I was excited to see him as a kid. I'm like, oh, maybe he'll have like some hope or like some sort of like, and we'll see of his way as a like the way he was as a kid and then now in the way he was in the previous flashback and then the way he is now but he didn't change at all so it just kind of like and the whole I, point of it is more just of yeah. her showing their connection to each other mm -hmm. um but again because she i don't care or know her at all like we only know her as just the girl in their group mm -hmm. that again like you know i it's the same it's the same problem we that i talked about previously when, yeah. about like how they're just not nearly developed enough to be and impactful. it kind of sucks because I, I, I feel like there, there really could have been something there 100%. with like them, the two of them. What was that other guy? Kamakiri. Kamakiri, yeah. Like if they had them as like a trio since they were kids or whatever, then I feel like it would have been it, like mm -hmm. if it, if it really had if we had seen this or like some a similar flashback earlier and it had really sold us on like the three of them are like in this together and yeah. and gonna go for it. You know what I mean? And, this and then and then they're. They're worried, they're all like willing to lay down their own lives, but they get really upset when something happens to the other one, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like if they all like together, like, yeah, we're gonna grow up and we're gonna do this, or all of the, like maybe a group of them, because there was mm -hmm. other guys too. Um, yeah, it's just, it, it feels so um, like, like, like this scene where Eneru shows up and it's really menacing and she dies like really brutally and right in front of him. And I could like, there was, it was like approaching that level of investment where I'm just like, oh man, what? Like if, if I, if I was really invested, like emotionally invested in Wiper and his whole crew, this would have hit so hard and it's the perfect setup and it's the perfect like mm -hmm. sacrifice and situation here where he's watching and he can't do anything. And he's like taking these hits from this other shithead behind him. Mm -hmm. Just the scene works so well. It's just, it, and it's set up well, like everything in the setup, but they're just, the attachment to them is is just not there. So for me, it kind of falls flat. And it, it is really, it just, yeah, it's just really disappointing to me because I would just wish that I cared about them more and I wish I had more of an attachment to them. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing is that I feel like it did really sell Wiper's attachment to her, like in this moment, but yeah. I didn't feel that, like I didn't, I didn't like, I. I wasn't super aware of like how deep their connection was before this moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we see her like rushing, like, oh, I have to tell Wiper and stuff like that. Um, and I, I'm I, it's, I feel bad that we keep talking about it, but it's just because it's like so close to being like really, really good and really, really cool. But it's just like not quite, it's not quite there. Like it's still good and it's still cool, but it's not. It just feels like I'm supposed to be on board and I, 
I just don't feel like I have any reason to be, you know, mm-hmm. for them, other than they're cool. They're cool. But like again, and Andrew says, uh, you know, oh, she's even if she's a woman, she's still a warrior. Just because she's a woman, you know, why do you care about her more? And I guess that was kind of also the point of showing them by the campfire. But it didn't show that there was any kind like. I guess it's maybe implied that there's like some sort of romantic thing or there's a reason, but uh, yeah, just the reason, like we're supposed to really care about her dying as well just because she's a, a woman. And that's like more tragic than Kamakiri, for example, dying mm-hmm. as a warrior. So he, Eniru calls that out, but it's like, you're calling it out, but that's also literally how you're trying to tug on our heartstrings with it is the fact mm-hmm. that she's a woman. Like if another dude was here, like it, it replaced this girl with Kamakiri, I might actually be more interested because I feel like we got more interactions with him or mm-hmm. with Wiper, you know, like with and uh, or with, you know, she could be replaced just as well with any of the other warrior dudes who are kind of interchangeable. But the only thing that like is supposed to make us care more is just the fact that she's a pretty girl character. Mm-hmm. She, so I will say she they're was... calling it out as if it's like, you know, why do you care more? It's just a, just because it's a woman still a warrior but also using that to make us care more Mm -hmm. because she's a woman. I will say she's pretty freaking badass the way that she... The way that she She knew that it wasn't going to do anything, but she's still just like... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too nitpicky. It's just... I I guess I'm dwelling dwelling on it not because I'm like... I don't know. I feel like it's because I really want... I would like to, to watch a version of this where I'm really invested... In, uh, in in these characters and, and where a death like that, a death like that would really impact me. I'd like to be in that headspace where I could, where, you know, the, the mm-hmm. all, you know, I feel that invested. I'd love to feel that. I just feel like it, not enough prior work was done. And again, like I mentioned in a previous discussion, if you didn't see it, it's partially that um, the, because they're so disconnected from the main characters in the main story, there's not really a way to ma- to give them all that backstory beforehand mm-hmm. because they're disconnected by nature. And the whole point is that, you know, they're, they're their own thing and they have their own backstory and they're their own characters. But then it's like, so you could distract from like all the converse, all the uh, interactions that we have with our main cast in this new place, cutting to them and giving them backstory and everything like that. But if they're not attached to the main characters, there's no reason to give them backstory. But then that's the basic problem with them as a faction and them as characters that we're supposed to care about if they want to make them that way. Is it's like, (laughs) they don't have any attachment to the main characters. So then there's no reason to show them during the story. So it's kind of the cyclical thing where they don't really have a place as you know empathetic characters and it's a really difficult thing to try and make them empathetic and i think that a good way that the show is trying to or that the manga the show is trying to do that is by making them really cool and badass and that does that but for me personally i can only go so far but again that maybe is just me being too nitpicky all of it leads to i don't really care when she dies very much and i don't get much out of their backstory just them sitting with each other saying the same history we already learned Mm -hmm. as kids uh, and then seeing them grow up, like it, it just doesn't really hit as hard because they're not—they're oh—they're only cool people who fight badassly and have cool weapons and stuff like that. Um, up to that point, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's, it's 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 very, very very nitpicky stuff, I guess, to some people. But for me, I, I think it really matters. Mm-hmm. I love Pierre again. W Pierre. Pierre is always winning, no matter mm-hmm. what he's doing. Stays winning. Yeah. Just like you stay checking out our Patreon. Link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. We'll see you guys in the next one in person. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.